How to Draw Cartoons with John Mark. Hey, I'm John Mark, and thanks for checking out this latest drawing video. I'm teaching you how to draw cartoons in three easy steps. This little sleepy guy is actually a logo I designed for a company's business logo. Mm -hmm. And being a cartoonist, you can have fun things and opportunities like this. So, if you have your pencil and paper, I think we're ready to begin this lesson. All right, so here we go with the first step. What's the thing that I said in some of my other videos? Look at the basic shape. This is like a bubbly, oh, bunch of circles and ovals all over the place. So what you really wanna do is concentrate in one area, if I start with the head, and build up where the arms are sleeping and the body and then the more circles and ovals for the clouds and just sketch it out. Remember, it doesn't have to look 100% like mine. It's your style, your technique, and you could change it. I have him in a cow because that was a logo. Maybe you want to change it to be something different. Use your creativity. So when you're sketching, don't worry about erasing and make those quick action lines. That's that sketching technique I want you to really learn. And when you're finished with this step, you can move on to the next one. Now we're on the next step. And what you can see is the character really coming into play that you can see his face. You can see his hands and the spots that I have on, his pajamas. The blue lines that I've sketched, again, are very sketchy. I'm not erasing anything whatsoever. And I'm just going a little bit darker because now I'm trying to really fine tune the illustration, or should I say the cartoon, the little kid sleeping on a cloud. When you get to this level and everything looks really comfortable, that's when you take it to the next step. All right, we're on the final step, and you can see that I'm using my HB again. And what you can see is the lines that I'm using are still sketchy. Now, I'm not going really, really slow. I'm kind of like quick action and getting those lines really firm, shading in where the shading is necessary, like on the spots or on his eyebrows, or even that little shadow line underneath his knees and hands, like it's on a cloud. So you can see the character coming to life a little bit more in depth. So what you can really practice with when you're sketching is don't be afraid of using two pencils. You can still use one if you want to, but I'm using two pencils in this case so you can see the sketchiness, really sketchy, and then fine tuning it with the HB pencil at the very end. As always, I hope you enjoy this lesson because I had a fun time sharing it with you. And thanks and have a great day. Our website, jmg-studio.biz. If you like this lesson, you'll find others like this on our site. We even have a store that has our drawing books and many other goodies. Thanks for the support.